Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video, we are going to continue working on making a rudder for our Sunfish sailboat. Uh, we had a episode previously where we figured out the shape of it and got it cut out. And so it's coming along nicely. Now this time we're gonna work on trying to get the rudder cheeks fitted and work on how we put the uh, tensioning springs on as well. And so uh, we're glad you're here. We are trying to make this rudder as close to class legal as possible. And I think we're making some good headway. There's some little tricks and tips in all of this because there aren't really any clear directions. And you know, most of my videos that I do when it comes to boat building and these kinds of things involve some problem solving and also hopefully can give you some answers in the event that you're trying to uh, create the same or something similar uh, for your own project. So uh, we're gonna work today on our uh, rudder and getting the cheeks on here to where they move the way they're supposed to and figure out where this pin for the spring goes. And uh, we have some good success. All right, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're coming back, good to see you. And uh, if you like the video, please leave your comments, give us a thumbs up, and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's jump in and make a rudder. Okay, so when we've been working on this, we've been going off of these plans here and we did not have an idea what this radius was here. And it's kind of critical because this particular piece has to fit on the board here and it has to spin or pivot on there so that when the board kicks up, uh, it, can, it can move within this, within this rudder cheek. So, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, well, now, wait a minute. We do know what this radius is because we've got this hole right here. This is where the bolt goes through that holds it all together. So if I figure from this hole to the end of the rudder cheek, it's right at two and three quarter inches. So I'm going to set that at two and three quarter right there. And then I got my dividers and I put a pencil in there. And I've got that set at two and three quarters. So at that point, I'm able to figure out by using some arcs off of this curve here where the center of this is just by drawing a couple of different lines. Now I've already cut this and sanded it down, but uh, you can see what I'm doing. And the other thing that occurs to me is that where those intersect is probably where my bolt hole needs to go. So I'm a little scared to go drilling a hole in this in case I goof it up, but I'm gonna have to drill a hole in it sooner or later. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna run that on there, just kind of test fit it. And then I mark that with black marker. And so that'd be right where that is. If I drill the hole there, and boy, we sure look like we're matching up nice up here. So I believe that that's probably going to work. If we drill the hole in there, that should be able to spin uh, on that to kick up like that. And I've got a bolt laying around that exactly fits in this hole. So I'm not sure how big that is. I'm thinking maybe that's quarter inch. I'll get my handy dandy little tool. Hang on a second. My wife got me this some time ago and I'm just surprised at how much I use this thing. Metric and it's, it's got, got, got uh, American standard here. Okay, yeah, I was right. That's quarter inch. Fits right in the quarter inch hole there. So now I know that that's, I need a quarter inch bit and I'm gonna drill through there. And we'll see if we can get this rudder cheek on here and see if it'll spin. Okay, so I'm on my big workbench, and it's my table saw bench, and I've got a little slot here, and it's funny how often that comes in handy. I'm going to put that on there so 
that I can just drill straight through there and it's a nice firm flat surface. I found my quarter inch bit and we're going to go ahead and do a little uh, pilot hole with my sharp tipped countersink bit just so that we get a, a hole started and we don't wobble away from where we want to be. So I'm coming right in the middle of that mark as much straight up and down as I can mess, mess, do. And that may be right close to where we need to be, but we'll go ahead and put this quarter inch bit on here. Oh, I hope that's right. Now that could be oversized just a little bit and that'd be okay because this is gonna have to move on here but for the moment my biggest trick is i want to make sure that we got this on here and got it right to where this thing can actually spin on here so this is the moment of truth if it's not right we'll plug it okay so that went through there okay now, yeah, see that kicks up, no problem at all. Now we have, we have to put a spring in here and those just came in the mail. I got a bunch of stuff in the mail, I'll show you if I can find it, what I do with The springs, these are the springs. And so one of them mounts on here and then comes back onto the board. And they actually have a picture of it that shows it there. So I'm not sure what that angle is, but we can get the protractor out and figure that out. And then I got these, oh, well, these are, these are little plastic washers. These actually go um, inside, inside the cheek. And you know, that may be one of those ways that it keeps her from swelling up and being a problem. Uh, we may test that. So, okay, and then we got that. And then we also got the pin. And this is for the spring attaches in the back of the board here. So we're gonna have to drill another hole back here. Um, and I don't know exactly where that goes, but someplace in the neighborhood of here. Spring is, is on here. It has to attach to a post over in here somewhere. Um, and it, there's a spring for both sides. And these springs are extremely tight. Um, I tried stretching them just a little bit. Man, they're, they're tough stuff. So, uh, but they're supposed to be sunfish authorized Parts. I've got to drill a hole because it's got to go all the way through and there's springs on both sides and then that spring attaches on to that dude. So that's what holds the rudder down when you're sailing because it's it's wood it would it would naturally try to float up. So I'm like okay so where, where does that hole go? Now one thing I know is that this thing's got to spin right and so this little pointy part up here, that's got to be able to clear that. So it's got to be stretched out enough that we get past that dude. Like, you know, if I spin that all the way around there, that's, you know, it's not going to, it's got to be stretched out because that's not going to work. So, uh, so then I'm like, but where does it go? And I'm like, well, it'd be nice if it lines up with one of these lines on here. But of course it doesn't. So... I came over on this plan and I'm looking at this and I thought, well, we've got a pretty much straight edge here on this leading edge that attaches to the back of the boat. So I drew and extended a line all the way this way. And then I cut that with a 90 degree line here. And then I extended this line out in line with where they show this spring at all the way up to here. And so I put my protractor on here. Some math teacher in a high school is very pleased with me. I uh, put my protractor on like that. And I'm almost got lined up, even though I'm holding the camera. And it comes out and it's like 109 degrees. So 
I brought this dude over here and I set this center of that right on a post and tried to line it up with the, the you pin. You can see now we've got that pretty well lined up with where that goes. So I drew a line out here. Now my next question is how far out does it go and how much can I stretch the spring? Well, I don't know, it's really, it's really far. But once I get the post in there, maybe it'll be easier to, easier to spread it out. So then I'm looking at this. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, let's do a ratio here. What's the difference? What's this di little distance here from the, the back edge of the, the board to that pin in relation to the overall length from this leading edge all the way to the back edge? So on this picture here, it was one and a half inches, and this distance was a quarter inch. That's on the diagram. So uh, a quarter inch out of one and a half inches is a sixth of the total distance. Now, when I came over and measured on here, this distance from here out to here is about eight inches. So I came back in a sixth of that, which is about one and a third inches, and I've got a little dot drawn. Now that looks to me like we'll definitely clear when this thing spins, and I actually have made a couple of little marks on the board of where when that spins, you can see here I've got a little mark there and another little mark there. So we know that spring's gotta go out past, past any of that. Um, so now, I'm wondering if I drill a hole there and put this, put this pin in there, I'll be able to stretch that spring out and get it on there. I'm actually thinking I'm going to maybe bring it in just a little bit because this spring's really tight. It's it's really tough spring. So I think if we come in maybe right about there, that's more than enough for to clear this piece, and hopefully that'll do it. Five sixteenths is what we need drilled out of the board to put that in there. But I want that in there pretty tight. And I may, I may glue that in there um, once we get the hole drilled. But all right, here goes nothing. Um, once, I'm gonna take this off of here. I hope I don't I'm gonna come in just a little bit. I'm kind of silly. I want to run my quarter inch bit through there first. You step up like this, you don't you got less chance for tearing it out. This mahogany is pretty soft, really. Okay, let's see. Where's my pen? Okay, yeah, see that's not gonna fit in there yet. Okay, so we're gonna go five sixteenths. Okay, well that's pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna have to drive that in there. I'm gonna be cool how I do that. I don't want that hole to be real loose. Okay, it seems like it sticks out pretty far, but that could be okay. And let's put this dude back on here. There, that spins just fine. And now, let's see if we can get that spring on there. That looks like the shortest distance, actually, with it up like that. Mm -hmm. Let's try it like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, look, we did it. Yep, see? Oh, yeah! Yeah, that works. 
it holds it down a position. Now we just put the other one on the other side. Boy, you know, sometimes a blind squirrel finds a nut. How about that? Okay, so I believe that's about right. And that, that holds that down there, but boy, if it's up, it's up. And then when it's down, it's, it's locked down. That's awesome. Now, the only other thing we gotta figure out is where's that tiller hole go, and this probably goes right about here. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.